today I have a very, very pleasant task to give a few words of greeting and felicitation to one of the kindest, nicest, most talented human beings I have been lucky enough to meet and befriend. Alston Cock is not only a friend, is an inspiration. Throughout his life, he has espoused causes which are deep rooted in the survival of humanity and its upliftment. Very long time ago, when I was in the House of Commons as a newly elected MP, Alston came to lobby me about climate change and the green issues of the day. Today, you might say, so what? Yes, indeed, today, that's commonplace, normal, everyday breakfast conversation, but not in the 1992. In 1992, anyone talking about green effects and the effect of climate warming, global warming and pollution would be looked upon with some suspicion about long hair and sandals and consuming noxious fumes in quiet corners. So Alston, when he came into the House of Commons talking about these things, reflected a trend 20 years before his time. And that's always been Alston. He's ahead of the curve. He's far-sighted, having foreknowledge almost of what is going to be important, not for ourselves only, but for the children yet to be born. Alston work on humanitarian upliftment, on his extraordinary efforts on helping war-torn areas, on poverty alleviation, on protecting the children in conflict zones is astonishing. He's one of those entertainers who not only entertains our hearts and spirit with his wonderful songs, he entertains our soul with his concerns and his love of humanity and creation. In Alston you meet a great family man, a great father to two lovely children, a great husband, a great bon viveur, a cafe owner, an ent uh, entertainer, a singer of great international repute, a creator of some magnificent songs which will resonate through the universe as all sound does as we send it out starting first in Sri Lanka then in Australia and all of Asia and now his work in California and the United States and with the United States Congress and the United Nations his songs his humanity and his gentleness and his love of mankind and womankind will be one of Alston's greatest contributions to our period of time in our history. So it's sounding without sounding too pompous, I can say Alston I have been very privileged to know you, to work with you, to give you the occasional hug and to know that the world is a better place because you've been there.